Oh, 123 students. Welcome to our microscope. <laughs> this is the first thing, okay, technically the second thing you get to play with coming up here in a couple weeks. And you will have one scope and it will be yours, owned by you the whole semester, which means you need to know what it does and how to take care of it. Because I don't know about you, Liz, but I take off points when they're put away wrong. I sure do. Yeah, much, and huh? if your teacher doesn't, you're <laughs> lucky because Liz and I are apparently very evil. Uh, but it is important that we take care of these mildly expensive pieces of equipment. So we're going to teach you what they are and how to use them. So we're going to start at the very top, the things you look through, which are called the oculars. Our oculars have a 10x objective, so they are going to magnify things 10 times. And they are also adjustable, so you can move them to adjust your eyes, because if you're like me, you have your eyes really close together, because that's just what nature gave you. So you got to push them all the way together, so you can actually look down onto your specimen. Um, now they're going to be held on by a whole group of things we don't really care about, because the next thing we're going to talk about is the nose piece. Hey, our nose piece is rotating. Uh, it actually has three different objectives on it. Um, when you guys take micro or some of the more advanced classes, you may have a fourth, uh, which is an oil immersion lens. So we have four, or sorry, we have three. <laughs> we have Got three, it. yes. There are three. The 4X, which is the smallest of the, it's right, that guy right there, is going to give be our scanning magnification. And then you move up to the longer yellow one, which is 10X, and then the high power is it's going to be the 40x, our little blue stripe there. So these are going to add an extra magnification to whatever we're looking at, which will be sitting on a stage. Very good. Ah, yes. Very good. So the stage is going to be our movable portion that is going to hold on to the slide. And we'll show you in the next video how the slide should go on there so that we don't damage our poor metal piece of the microscope. So on the other side of our scope, you know, say Liz will magically turn around our scope. Gotcha, on cover, this gotcha, side, cover. there you can kind of see down there attached to this stage. This is our mechanical stage control. So there are two knobs. The bottom one will move what? Will move the stage clip. The stage clip, the little metal piece, and Back then the and top forth. one is going to move the actual stage forwards and backwards. So. Just like magic. <laughs> it's science. Uh, science. Well, I was going to say. <laughs> so no this surprise. is going to help you to move the stage so that you can get your specimen underneath the light, which is going to be focused straight up through our condenser and the condenser diaphragm. So the, turn it. Uh, sure, that'll work. Right there. Let's move this. Awesome. Okay, so if you look from the straight on view, you can see that the condenser lens is the actual piece the light will focus up on. <laughs> and then it's going to be controlled by the diaphragm itself. So you can see there's a little spinny piece that Liz is moving that will uh, help to adjust your light level. So if you want to get brighter or a little bit lower on light so you don't kill your poor little retinas, you can focus the light. Yeah, it's you very easy to, to do that. Um, and you can also also adjust the light by this little knob that's on the side of the scope at the bottom, right down there, um, the rheostat. It's the weirdest word. I like it. Though. Okay. <laughs> the, re the rheostat. Um, that you'll also be able to adjust. So between the rheostat and the condenser diaphragm, you'll be able to adjust the light. So you're not burning your retinas, but you can still see what's going on uh, when you're looking at your object. Oh, let's see. I guess on the other side. I'm just gonna turn it around, do a little dance. Um, down at the bottom, on the same location where the rheostat is on the other side, is your on off switch. This is important because when you plug in your microscope with this fancy plug on the back, don't try to operate without the plug or turning on your microscope. It is always a fun experience to watch people go, I can't see anything. And I say, hmm, is it on? They're like, oh. It's not. <laughs> so, on off switch, very important piece of your microscope experience. And um, then, kind of right next to the on off switch, just above it, are our two adjustment knobs. So, we do have a coarse and a fine adjustment knob. These will both be moving the stage up and down. The coarse is going to move the stage a lot, um, and the fine will move it just a little bit so you can make that view picture perfect. Teeny tiny. Yes. Well, we got it. 
I think is that good. it? All right, I then we will actually talk about how you use the scope in our next video.